Hello Gemini, how are you? Welcome to my channel Star 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 and welcome to your reading. So Gemini, this is your reading for the next 20 days of November and this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa and time is fluid. Gemini, I would appreciate if you would hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below if you find yourself getting resonated with this reading. I would also request you to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload the video. <clears throat> there is an extended reading for this one. The link for the same is in the description box and comment section. In the extended, we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you, what action they will take towards you, what is the likely conclusion between you and this person. Coming back to this reading on YouTube, I'm shuffling the cards, I'll lay them down, and then we'll see what is your energy, what is the energy of the person you're thinking about, you're dealing with, you will be dealing with. So let's get started. Gemini, to begin with, we have two of wands. I sort of feel, Gemini, that you have some big ambitions. You want to conquer the world. You want to achieve a lot in your life. You want to do a lot of things in your life. I think so. You're planning big. Okay. Uh, I also see that you're very clear about your choices. If, you're, if you will be required to make any kind of decision, if you will be presented with choices, it won't take long for you to decide what is right choice, which is right choice for you. It won't take long for you to uh, make decisions. You will have a lot of clarity and you will be supported by your intuition. Your intuitive power is very strong in the month of November, Gemini. Take full advantage of that. And I think so your intuition is, uh, your intuitions are supporting you in your future plans. Whatever your future plans are related to your career, your business, your money, your, your personal growth. I think so. Uh, I mean, look at this card. This person is holding the globe in his hand. Okay. It's like, I want to, I, I want to conquer the world. The world should be in my hands. Okay, so I'm, I'm getting that kind of energy over here. You, you really have big plans for yourself. You want to expand. You want to grow. Okay. And I think so you will start working towards your plans uh, in the month of November. King of Cups is letting me know that... I think so there are certain things in your life that you want to... You want to... You want to just get it done. Okay, like... You don't want to uh, consume a lot of energy towards finding those things which are fundamental, which are necessary, and which you think that you should be finding it soon, like love. I'm not saying that you're tired or you're frustrated of not finding the person, or you're tired or frustrated of being single. But you do have bigger plans. Like I told you, you do have bigger plans. And you want to focus more over there. Okay. Having said so, you don't want your entire... You don't want to spend your entire life searching for the romantic partner. Okay. You are giving yourself... You have given a lot of time towards love and relationships. In the future as well, you're going to give yourself a certain time limit. Like next one or next two years. I want to find the right kind of a person and uh, and there is nothing wrong in setting targets for love and relationships at the end of the day if you are setting targets you are letting the universe know like within this time limit I want to have someone in my life I want the right person to enter in my life within this time limit I'm setting a target for myself and I'm letting you know by setting the targets for myself like within this timeline I want to have someone because once I have someone in my life I, I will be emotionally, I'll be settled and I can focus towards my other plans in a much better manner. Okay, so the King of Cups is letting me know that you're going to be very proactive when it comes to your love life. Okay, uh, I think so. You will be very active on the dating apps. You will make sure that you're socializing enough. You're going out on dates. Okay, uh, Wheel of Fortune. Yes, you're manifesting massive changes in your life. You're manifesting big, uh, big changes in your life, big positive changes in your life. For some of you, relocation is a very strong indication, strong, strong, very strong indication. I kind of got the relocation vibes with two of wands as well. 
Some of you are planning to go back to school, college, university or along with your existing career. In parallel, you will study something else. But this is a, if you're planning to study, this is a long term course, maybe a, more than a year or so. Uh, for some of you, this is an online course. For some of you, you're going back to school, college, university. If this is not about education, for, I see relocation for some of you. If this is not about education or relocation, I think so you are manifesting big changes in your life for sure. Okay, you are manifesting a lot of changes in your life. I, it is also likely that you probably are buying a new home or uh, expanding your asset base. Okay, you are also uh, uh, you're also putting in efforts to free yourself from negativity if at all there is any that is impacting your life. Like removing negative people, removing yourself from negative situations. Let's see more about your love life. We have Knight of Wands. Then we have Two of Swords. We have Five of Cups. Someone is missing you, Gemini. Someone is missing you. And then we have... Okay, this Two of Cups wants to come out. Two of Cups. I wanted to pull out this card. Ace of Wands. I'll keep this Two of Cups and Ace of Wands over here. Okay, so I am getting more than one energy. Okay. For some of you, there is someone from the past who is thinking about you, missing you. This person probably was in and out of your life. They were consistently inconsistent. Maybe this person ghosted you or chose someone else over you. Okay. Uh, I mean, see, uh, during this month, the energy of this person is coming across as strong. It's not necessary that this energy is going to continue. It might even happen in the next reading. This energy might not be there. Okay. So, uh, it kind of looks like at the moment, someone is missing you uh, big time. Someone is thinking about you or probably this person is comparing you with someone else. This need not necessarily be an ex. This can also be someone who has options. Okay, there is a person uh, who co had contemplated coming towards you and they were about to come towards you, uh, ask you out on a date. But at the same time, they were being presented with another option and then they got swayed away and they went with uh, the other option on the date. And they regretted at that point of time. They were like, gosh, I made a mistake. I should have gone out with Gemini. I chose the other person over Gemini. And this is the biggest uh, mistake of my life. I can come back to Gemini, ask out Gemini all over again. But somewhere, this person is in dual minds. Okay. For some of you, this is an ex. Clearly, this person is missing you. They are regretting for they're regretting everything from the past okay let's see if there is a new energy that i'm feeling like ace of wands is letting me know that there is a new passionate beginning that is around the corner gemini two of cups is letting me know that uh a person is about to enter in your life this is someone who is manifested by you gemini okay you want someone where you want a connection where there will be equal give and take you want a connection where you won't have to struggle in a relationship, okay? You you don't want to struggle to understand what this person is actually thinking about me. You don't want to fight for their attention every now and then. You don't want to feel disrespected. You, you don't want to feel insulted. You don't want to feel lack of anything. I mean, especially you want your emotional cup to be fulfilled, okay? And this is something with all these criteria at the back of your mind. You have manifested someone and this is this person is the one who is going to fulfill all the expectations that you have in a romantic relationship. Okay. So this person is going to give you what you want, what your expectations are. They're coming to fulfill your expectations, Gemini. I want you to be ready for that. 
all right i hope this resonates and hit like share and subscribe and comment on below the link for the extended is in description box and comment section in extended we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you what action they will take towards you what is the likely conclusion between you and this person Alrighty, take care, have a great time and bye-bye Gemini.